Hi everyone! Welcome to another BarkBox unboxing video. This time we're going to be unboxing the July and August Bark Boxes. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you see anything that you like in any of these Bark Boxes, you can go to the Bark Shop, link here, and uh, buy any of the individual products without having to do a Bark Box subscription. If you use the coupon code DEXTERS, then you'll get a free bully stick with your order. Okay, let's get started. This is the July box and it has a circus theme. First on the list is Emerald Pet Piggy Twizzies. Made in the USA and free of grain, gluten, soy, and dairy, these 100% digestible extruded chews are sure to be a showstopper. So it just looks like a normal chew toy. It's uh, twisted, smart and tasty. I don't know why it's smart. Ingredients are pork meal, pork liver, pork gelatin, natural flavor, pork broth, preservatives, and rosemary extract. So I haven't done any research on this, but recently uh, one of the dogs I follow online was having seizures and they think that it's related to rosemary extract. I'm probably gonna avoid it now just because and maybe do some research into it later, but this is probably something I wouldn't give to them because of that and also because it's quite large and hard um, and I think it would be too big for, well, especially Peppermint's little mouth, but probably Dexter's also. Next on the list is Lucky Dog Grain Free Roast Duck Treats. Grain free but full of roast duck goodness, these goodies will make your pup go ducking crazy. So since this was the July box, obviously most of these are gone. <laughs> Opening a bag of treats never fails to bring them both running. Hey guys, I'll feed them to you in a second. So these ones are kind of like typical dog biscuits. They're hard and crunchy, uh, little heart shapes, really cute. The dogs really did like them. Roasted duck. Next is My Doggy Cheesy Cookies. What's better than a soft doughy cookie? One that's cheesy and wheat free too. Lucky pup. Again, these are almost all gone. I saved one so that uh, you guys can see them enjoy it on camera. These ones are cookies also, but they're chewy instead of like the crunchy cookies that the last ones were. These ones were easy to crumble up. So as I've said in the past, I usually sprinkle some treats on Peppermint's food to make her eat it. And these ones were perfect for that. Next is Bark Made Bearded Lady. Just like the good old days, this circus wouldn't be quite complete without the bearded lady. <laughs> Probably the weirdest and most random toy we've ever gotten in a bark box, but unique. So I can't find a squeak in it. Oh! <laughs> I was just gonna say there's something hard in the center and I wasn't sure if that was just to help them chew on it, but... <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I don't think this will be a big hit with them. It'll probably be at the giveaway at the end. And last thing in the July Bark Box is the Zigu Pets Veg Out. BarkBox tip, stuff this USA made toy with peanut butter, baby carrots, or a rubbed treat and freeze for a long lasting healthy snack. So it says that it's a baby carrot treat dispenser. I don't know if you guys just think I'm a crazy dog lady and over obsessive about what I feed my dogs, but baby carrots aren't the best thing to feed pets. Carrots in general are a bit higher in sugar, but Dexter loves carrots, so I do feed them as a treat to the dogs, just not baby carrots. Baby carrots are typically old carrots that they've bleached and colored, and there's not a lot of good stuff that's in them a lot of the time. So I try to stay away from baby carrots for me and the dogs, but uh, I do buy normal carrots, and like I said, Dexter's one of Dexter's favorite treats is carrots. He just loves them. I can't eat them without him going crazy so I think this will be kind of neat. Dexter really likes to play with toys where there's something inside of it and he has to get to it so I actually think this one might be a big hit. I don't have any carrots in the house right now but I might put a couple treats in it and we can test it out and see if he likes it.
So as you can see, that one is a huge hit with Dexter. Um, I say it's pretty much on par with his Omega Glam Ball that he has, uh, that we did the review. If you want to see that one, I'll put a link to it right here. Um, but he's been sitting there playing with it for about 15 minutes now, and it uh, doesn't seem like there's any signs of stopping. I like this one for a bit of variety for him also, because the Glam Ball is a ball, so it's rolling around, but this one, since it's long and skinny, can actually pick it up and chew on it, and um, Dexter is a toothbrush biter, so I can't brush his teeth. I've tried, I can't. I always like anything that he can kind of chew on or get in there, and maybe perhaps uh, take off some plaque off his teeth, or just help keep them strong and clean, so... This one's a huge hit. This is probably my favorite toy that we've ever received in any bark box. so happy about that. And uh, I think it's gonna be hours and hours of fun for him. All right, on to the August bark box. August had a theme of summer block party. First on the list is Kettle Creek Farms chicken flavored Bestie Bars. Beastie? Beastie. Gluten and hormone free, this Beastie Bar contains classic wholesome ingredients such as chicken, peas, carrots, apples, bananas, and is easy to grab for a pup on the move. Again, looking at the ingredients, everything does look good, but it does include rosemary extract. Because of the recent incident with the dog that I've been following, I haven't done enough research on it to know if rosemary extract really is dangerous for dogs, but just because there were some reports that I was seeing about it and people speculating on it, I probably would research a little bit before I fed this to them. It's probably good for me to know anyway, so um, I'll look into it and then I'll let you guys know. Next on the list is Play-Doh Pet Treats Small Bites Chicken. Free of grain, soy, wheat, corn fillers, and gluten, these tasty bites from Play-Doh are made of delicious chicken and are a single source protein packed treat. Minimal ingredients. <laughs> Here come the dogs. <laughs> Hi. You'll get one in a second. They're um, little tiny bite-sized pieces and uh, they come apart quite easily. So again, easy to sprinkle over top of Peppermint's food to help her eat and good bite-sized treats for training or just everyday use. These are the small bites. I think out of all of them, these ones are their favorite. Except Dexter always forgets to chew. Next on the list is Fruitable Skinny Mini Watermelon. What says block party more than juicy hunk of nature's candy? Watermelon. With only two gluten-free calories per treat, it's perfectly okay for seconds and thirds. They're tiny little bite-sized chews, great for small dogs. They don't break apart too easily, but I cut them up and sprinkle them on peppermint's food or just give them as a little treat and they really like them. And these are the Fruitables, the one that I didn't think that Peppermint was going to like, but she seems to love them. Next is the Harry Barker Rope Fire Hydrant. This classic fire hydrant, aka Puppy Potty, is a staple of the block party landscape. This plush toy will be a great addition to the hood. There's a lot going on on this toy. It's a fire hydrant. It's got canvas on one side, fur on the other side, and then rope pulls on each side. Cute toy, just not something that my dogs will use, so again, probably giving this away at the end of the video. Next is the Pet Quirk Snow Cone. What neighborhood gathering is complete without a visit from the ice cream truck? Snow cones, get your snow cones, pups. This is actually really adorable, but again, not something that my dogs would enjoy. It's got squeakies, crinkles, and uh, super cute, really tiny, so if you do have a smaller dog, this might be a great one for you. So probably giving this one away at the end. Oh, that's it. Like I said at the beginning, if there's any individual products that you like, you don't need to do a full BarkBox subscription. You can go to the Bark Shop and buy any individual products to test them out and see if you like them. Use the coupon code DEXTERS and you get a free bully stick when you do that. Or if you did want to get a monthly surprise in the mail for your pup, you can do the full BarkBox subscription. Go to BarkBox.com Dexters or use the coupon code DEXTERS when you check out and you'll get 10% off of your purchase. 
and it helps to support our show. So this time we're giving away the three toys. So it'll be a toy set, the bearded lady, the cone, and the fire hydrant. If you want a chance to win these toys, remember to like this video. Leave us a comment in the comment section below telling us if you have subscribed to BarkBox or if you have any comments for us about this video or any of our other videos or anything that you want to talk to us about at all. We'll pick a winner at random and announce it on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook here. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you're a fan of adorableness, funny stuff, and awesome, hit that subscribe button and follow along with our adventures. And don't forget to check out our channel for all of our past videos. Can I go outside? Can I come back in? Can I go back outside? Can I come back in? I ate the cat. And I'm not sorry about it. <laughs>